So everybody would stand. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you again for the chance to be here, Lord. We just want to honor you um, through all our actions, Lord, and just give us the knowledge we need to uh, pursue the projects we are, Lord, that we will fulfill your purpose and our decisions, and just give us the knowledge that we need to follow through your purpose in these things. And Lord, I thank you for each council member here. I thank you for the citizens and, and giving us just such a wonderful place to live. I feel like we're so honored to live in beauty that you've supplied for us and just the, the great community life that we have. And just help us to carry on and fulfill your purpose in, in everything we do each day just to reflect you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Most flag salute, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, again, I'd like to welcome everybody here to our uh, council meeting today. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? Motion to approve. Got a motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. All right. Payment of accounts. Second. Got a motion and a second to pay the bills. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. All right, uh, continue business, continue discussion concerning the proposal from MRS Consultants, LLC. I think that is on the back of our packet. Yeah, that was on the agenda until we were called last meeting. Uh, I spoke with James. Since then, James Payton at Land Environmental, that is a, a requirement of SRF loan that is, is in conjunction with the survey of the property that they're doing. What these people will do, basically survey, they, they've identified three routes that are going to have to be changed, three areas that will have to be rerouted. And uh, what they will do now is survey the suggested routes for, for the reroute. And of course, as, as Mr. Payton advised, if they find archaeological artifacts in these other areas, we'll have to have to do this again. But he was hopeful this would be it. So this 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 FY that has been paid or will be paid. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. I got a motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Ordinances and resolution. Ordinance 2018-03 authorizing the pricing of the city's just completed bond issue. I, I, I think Brad will you want to speak to us, Brad. Sure.
you guys have, have seen the numbers and we're, we're very, very close to, to where we were kind of predicting and even a little lower in total debt service payments in the first nine years. So, um, you know, that's all that I really have. We, we again appreciate the opportunity and I'm here to answer any, anybody's questions um, that you may have. If y'all recall at the last meeting, I uh, brought up the fact that they're going to have to have some general idea of how much money to invest. You know, I think and we whittled it down to, to uh, maybe a million, but I, I think we can invest a lot more than that because there's no projects that I foresee on the map where we're going to need money before three months. So if you <coughs> would inform them how that money will be invested. What term are you going to have? Is it six months like we talked about, six month increments? We can structure this, um, I've, I've talked to Jessica about it, we can structure this however you guys want it. Um, I think that we have given a couple different options um, as of now, and you can take a look at those. Um, I won't get into detail right now, but um, you know, we can, we can do this however you want, but what we've done up to now is assume three month intervals, so you have the certain investments maturing, and when that matures, that will just be in liquid cash. It'll be in a money market account at the paying agent, and so you'll you know, you'll be earning money either way, whether it's invested in treasuries or in the money market account. Um, the treasury investments are going to make you know more money for the city. Um, there's about a 50 basis point difference in the money market rate versus treasuries, and that's a very broad market statement, but that's kind of what we're seeing based on the assumptions we've made. So you, you guys need to look at that and let us know kind of, uh, and we can go back to the drawing board as well and redo some of the assumptions, push out a larger amount for a longer term if you're not gonna be spending that, but we've just made some very, very high level assumptions up to this point. So it's about, we need to probably start focusing on that though. Um, you know, the money will be available on June 6th, and uh, you know, the faster we can get on the same page and get all that process moving, that will be better um, as opposed to waiting. Well, we talked about when the money became available, put maybe a million dollars into just the money market, the market account, and then doing so many million on a three month, so many on a six month, I don't really see any reason to go out any further than that. Those that, re that if they were to, to uh, uh, come up at a particular time, they could be renewed and That's right. Sure. That. That's exactly right. I mean, um, you, you definitely, um, if you think you're going to need the cash earlier, um, you, you may want to stay short. Um, but at, if you, if those investments mature and you still don't need the cash, you can again roll it again for another three months. I would recommend um, you know pushing it longer if if you're still trying to decide on what you're going to do. Um, as y'all know, I mean this is a, a process. Lots of parties involved. Um, construction takes forever. Can't control the weather. Um, so uh, again, we, we'll do exactly what you want to do. Well, how much uh, different would it be in earnings, say, in a three month versus a six month? Yeah, so we have, uh, we've run those numbers. Um, if on this first scenario that we did, um, there was about 250 to 275,000 in earnings. Um, and that's assuming level draws of $5 million for every three months. So we're, we're, that we're keeping 5 million liquid, investing 5 million three month intervals uh, up to a year and that generates about 250 to 300,000. Well, if, if I may, you know, we, we don't have uh, approved plans and specs at this point. We've got to do that. Once we have the plans and specs, we've got to bid it. Once we bid it, then we've got to have the construction meeting and start construction. And until you get a, a minimum of a month into any construction, you don't have any payment. Uh, so I, I think Andy's right. I don't. 
I, I don't foresee us having to have any money for the first three months, no matter when we start the projects, uh, because we're not ready to put the shovel in the ground right now. Um, isn't that what you were sort of thinking, Andy? And then after that, we could have some draws. But if you've got scenarios, we can most certainly take a look at that and get back to you before June 6th. That's sure. obviously it's not, not something we've got to figure out today. You, you have those, and uh, it was a regular meeting. So we could, we made the fifth, so if we so it goes over 29 man. But we've got an item on here, and I want to let Don address that about possibly moving the next meeting to, to another day. But That's election day, isn't it? Yeah. I think what we looked at when we broke this down was we could we knew we could invest up to eight million dollars for up to a year. But I think the only thing that I see is if we wanted to pull a small market share out for reimbursables for some of the property that we've acquired that we talked about taking out of this. But we've got between now and October to do that. We passed a resolution to do that. So we could virtually invest all of it for, for ninety days. Well, let's just, well, let's, I think probably just, like I said, don't have to decide that today, but she's got the plans, we'll take a look at it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get those to you, you have them. I think we need to go back to the drawing board as well, um, and we'll we'll do that, and we can circle back and discuss it further. Okay, okay. sounds good. And Kane, um, I don't know if Kane wants to speak, he, there's a ordinance before you, Mr. Watson can, can give you the details, or Kane can. I, come on, Kane, we'll let you. Sure. Since you know what you're talking about. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, my name is Kane Burnett. I'm with the law firm of Bradley Aram, Bolt Cummings, and Birmingham. We represent the city as bond counsel in this transaction. I've been working with Rocky and Tamara all along the way. Uh, what you have before you now, uh, Brad, went over the results of the, of the public sale, and what you have before you now is an ordinance that will be the contract between the city and the holders of these warrants for both the Series A series, that's the city side, and then Series B, which is the school side. The ordinance locks in the interest rates, so there's no variability, um, sets the interest rates for the term, uh, the entire 30-year term, sets forth uh, provisions that include things like when the city can redeem these, that would be uh, at the 10 year mark, which is the minimum requirement under state law. Um, and then establishes all the particulars of investment that, that the council is deciding right now and, uh, and the custody of these funds pending expenditure. Um, a lot of details, it's about a 30 page ordinance, so I propose that we introduce that in writing as opposed to me standing up here hours uh, <laughs> uh, my, uh, oratory skills I'm happy to, to do that but um, but any questions you might have would be happy to answer about about the ordinance when does it has to be it's got to be adopted today so we need to yeah, spend so the rules would need to be adopted today um, that's that is really to meet the uh, right. you're very familiar yeah. with well Tamara's reviewed it and uh, this it's it's what we pass every time we we issue bonds and Standard, standard. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, and, and we have, and I, I want to say this, uh, our issuing agent and our, our, our bond attorneys, uh, uh, which is Raymond James, Bradley Arant, they, they don't come any better than that, not just in Alabama, but anywhere, and we appreciate y'all uh, so very much. Uh, and uh, I just think there's some things that, that when we all learn about how this went down, that this was just, uh, their services were just outstanding, uh, and we appreciate them very much, and it's, it's, it's a great benefit to the city. There's no reason for us not to pass this today and, and get the benefit of $45 million for our schools and for our city and go forward. I would entertain a motion to suspend the rules. Suspend the rules. All in favor? Second. Oh, I'll second. Got a second. Yes. 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 Take a motion to adopt the ordinance. Second. Got a motion and a second to adopt the ordinance. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. It's a big day for Fort Payne, folks.
Thanks, Thank you. Thank you for the good work. After the meeting, we'll have uh, one document to sign, uh, evidence to sell, and then we'll coordinate with the city, uh, and Raymond James will coordinate the uh, signing of all the warrants and the other documents before the closing. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. One more item of business on the agenda is the consideration for rescheduling the June 5th meeting. I think, Don, do you want to speak to us on this? Tomorrow, after tomorrow, we should have our uh, phone interviews wrapped up for uh, the uh, Director of Parks and Recreation. And uh, right after tomorrow, we'll, we'll make a decision on three candidates we'd like to bring before the council to do a, uh, an interview. So I'd like to recommend that we move that uh, meeting to the 29th of May. That's the day after Memorial Day. I don't know what other business you have there, but three, three candidates at one time, that, that might take up to three hours. I don't know. But I, I do not feel like we, we need to rush you or the candidates into their safety. So if you've got a lot of business that day, uh, entertain another offer. After speaking with the mayor and Andy yesterday, that looks like that'd be a good day to do that. Well, I will. I will be unavailable for a long period of that day on the 29th, and I think I don't think Red's going to be here the 29th either. Uh, could we not do it on the field? Well, our our initial. We actually wanted to do it on the 24th, but that ties us a graduation. The mayor's going to be out that day. What about on the Thursday, 30, the 31st? I won't be here. You won't be here that day. Sorry. What's <laughs> wrong on Wednesday? What about the, we have the 30th. About the 30th. On Wednesday? I'm good that day. I should be good on the 30th. Thank you. The 30th work for you, Don? Yeah. Yeah, need a motion to change that meeting. To bring the 30th meeting to the 30th, right? At what time? The one started at 11. Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah, that's what we thought. It shouldn't be in, in what, you know, the June of the 5th, like we said, it's election day, so that's a week, less than a week later, so what we can just, at the same time, officially move this meeting, counts, cancel the next one. Cancel the 5th. I think 11 would be, would be fine. Okay. But y'all be prepared, like Don said. It yeah. It's going to take some time. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely need to be <laughs> we're, we're bringing, flexible. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wade yeah. made a motion. Second. Wade made a motion. Lee second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? 30th at 11 a.m. 30th at 11 a.m. So you news folks, next meeting is May 30th? Yes, that is a Wednesday. Uh, I had a request about putting a crosswalk at the library to Church of Christ. I talked to some of you about it. Uh, it's him. You said we need to vote on it if, if we decide to do that. I don't see a problem with it. Do you? No, I don't see a problem. Uh, and basically, it's just where people can get across when they're at church and they park over in the library. <laughs> and the only reason we have to do it special is because it's in the middle of the block, right? right? Other than that, we could just mark it off. But and it's just painting. Uh, it's just painting, it's painting, painting the road there, sign or two. They done some parking spaces and that type of thing up there so yeah, the, the work they've done looks good yeah i don't have a problem with that well, I'll, make a motion I'll second okay. all in favor say aye aye any opposed library to the church of christ the church yeah. of christ yeah, yeah. they've had some new parking there on the east side of the road and this would tie that little parking strip into the library use that little sidewalk comes out the road there it's a library anyway so it'll be right there you know go by and look at it so I just want to commend Don on the job he's done helping us find a new rec uh, director. He's come, he sort of jumped right in and gone above and beyond um, getting all this ready. And I know 
we haven't had to do anything uh, other than sit and listen and little input, but he's doing a great job. And I will tell you, I'll be ready on the, uh, the interviews because it's going to be a tough decision. Yeah, There's some so good tough. applicants. So. We have 27 total, is that correct? I have 27 applicants. 27 applicants. Good. Good answer to good. our community. Good, from all over the area, really. All the way to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> They're hearing, a, hearing about Fort Payne in New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> I was going to call him back, but he couldn't figure out the code. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody in the audience have anything they'd like to address? If not, anybody else got anything? I think we have a uh, reception at 12 o'clock for Greg Conkle, who is our current Parks and Rec, who is retiring. So... At the rec center. Got a motion to adjourn. All right.